Oops. Last night, 23 trillion units of radiation accidentally spilled at Fukushima nuclear disaster site. February 20th, 2014, Turner Radio Network News. The Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO, which operated the Fukushima Duchi nuclear power plant, crippled by an earthquake and tsunami in March of 2011, announced it spilled 23 trillion units of radiation Wednesday as one of the storage tanks leaked that 100 tons of radioactive water is now entering the Pacific Ocean where currents will carry it to North America. Hey California, now this is criticism in the print here. Hey California, get ready to glow. Would anyone care for another serving of sushi? Tokyo Electric Power Company said it found a new leak near the tank holding contaminated water at the disaster site, about 100 me uh, metric tons, 26,400 gallons of water may have escaped a concrete barrier, the company said. Beta radiation readings of 230 million backwells per liter were taken in a water sample uh, collected today near the uh, H6 tank area of the Fukushima Delici plant, according to emailed statement from the Tokyo-based utility. 230 million t uh, times 100 tons equal 23 trillion units. In addition to last night's enormous spill, about 300 tons of contaminated groundwater seep into the ocean each day. At the Delucci station, 240 kilometers, 150 miles north of Tokyo, Japan gov Japan's government had said in the past, it has not been, it has now been 1,076 days since three reactors at the Fukushima plant melted down and exploded, releasing more radiation into the atmosphere in the one week than at all the nuclear test detonations by all the countries of the world combined. Over and above the atmospheric radiation, there's also seen 300 tons of water per day. 79,200 gallons times 1,076 days equals 85,219,200 gallons of lethal poisoned radioactive water that has poured into the Pacific Ocean so far. There's no sign at all of TEPCO being able to stop this anytime soon. In fact, reactor building number three is still so heavily radioactive they have not been able to uh, send anyone or even any robot into the building to even see what's going on. If any person enters that building, they will receive a lethal dose of radiation within six minutes and die within hours. Nothing would be able to save them. Any robots they tried to send in failed. That uh, circle, uh, circulatory, uh, dis, dis, uh, dis, uh, they circulatory disintegrated, not from heat, from radiation. Between May of 2011 and August of 2013, as many as 20 trillion becquerels of cesium, of cesium, excuse me, 137, 10 trillion becquerels of 
strontium 90 and 40 trillion bequels of tritium entered the ocean by groundwater, according to past statements from TEPCO. Is there any wonder at all why sea life in the Pacific Ocean is dying planet, uh, dying planet wide? Starfish off the coast of California are literally melting on the sea floor. Sardines gone. U.S. freshmen can't find any. Whales and even sharks are showing up with huge tumors. Sharks aren't even supposed to be able to get uh, cancer. Tuna caught off California tested 100% positive for radiation. All these things are taking place. And yet the United States government is not testing Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean water for radiation levels. Like lambs to the slaughter. People are still swimming, scuba diving, surfing, and fishing in the Pacific off the U.S. coast. The worst part is the, the sick logic employed by government decision not to test. If they don't test, then they don't have any evidence of dangerous radiation. And if that doesn't have any evidence, if they don't have any evidence, they're, they mustn't do anything. There must not be anything to worry about. The psychiatric term for such thinking is denial. The trouble with such denial is that real people will get cancer and die not knowing. Anyway, that's it. We need to pass this word on to tell the people in California and on the coastal areas that to stay away and don't eat the fish and stay out of the weather, the rain and the snow, because it's radiation coming down. God bless all of you and thank you so much.